Welcome to the Science Hutch. I'm Hutch, and this is the science. And our very special science today is all about electricity. We're going to be looking today at electricity in the form of movement through circuits, and we're going to be especially looking at AP Physics 1's investigation number nine from the College Board. This is the last investigation in the College Board's lab manual, but it may not be the last investigation you do in your course, depending on the order in which your teacher teaches. So the central challenge for this investigation today is to discover how the conservation of energy and charge apply to simple series and parallel circuits. Coming into this investigation, you should have already had some training in things like Kirchhoff's rules. There are two of them, the loop rule and the junction rule. The loop rule is linked to the conservation of energy and how that works in a loop or a circuit, they're synonyms. And then a, the junction rule is how the conservation of charge applies to circuits where charge is gonna flow through a line and then when it reaches a splitting point or a junction, then some of the charge is gonna flow one way, which we call the current. Some of the current's gonna go one way and some of the current is gonna go the other way. Most of the current is gonna take the path of least resistance and it is actually proportionate. But all of that is gonna be covered in classes and there's some great videos out on the web for you to find that as well. Um, real world applications, um, the College Board mentions that basically all of our modern technology is running off of electricity these days and so it's really hard not to find a real world application but specifically in your households your outlets and your appliances are all wired in parallel so you can turn off like a whole set of things with a light switch um, and that doesn't turn off everything in the house because those switches are in parallel with each other. All right, well, let's go uh, play with some of the uh, circuit boards we're gonna see and how do we use voltmeters and ammeters in this lab. So come over to the lab with me. Hey, and welcome to the lab for our AP Physics 1 circus investigation. In this investigation, you're looking at a two-parter. Um, it's inquiry style, so your knowledge coming into this is meant to be a bit limited. You're supposed to know what a battery is, how to draw that on a circuit diagram. You're supposed to know um, maybe what a, a voltmeter is, and if you don't know, we're gonna show you that in this, la in this little video here. In part one, your job is to investigate potential difference, which we also know as a change in voltage, or what we call voltage drops, over over um, resistors, in this case over light bulbs, and you're going to be discovering the relationship between potential differences across resistors, light bulbs, and the battery for four different circuits that you're going to be designing and setting up. Uh, number one, two bulbs in series. Number two, two bulbs in parallel. Number three, three bulbs in combination circuits, combining series and parallel. So we really don't need to show you a video for part two because it's the exact same thing over again. Imagine the word current popping up here and then currents with a capital I there instead of the delta V. All right, the rest of the video is just showing you all the equipment and how you're going to be maybe wiring that. Just a couple tips and tricks for you. So here we go into that. All righty, here's some pro tips on what your equipment looks like. So you have two kinds of bulbs to play with and it's highly recommended that you set up some, some series and parallel circuits as you're going through those four different options we showed you earlier with a combination of round bulbs whoop, and long bulbs. Whoop. And then also try to set up the circuits and see what they look like and take measurements with identical bulbs all set up all round or all long. So there's your two kind of bulbs. Okay, now here we have a simple circuit set up and I just wanna show you on our, uh, these are also um, vernier circuit boards. You have your battery box here. Make sure when you're connecting your batteries, you put the negative, the flat side of the battery into the springy side of the battery box. La la la, just like that. We have a switch to turn things on and off here. And so there's our beautiful little light bulb shining brightly for us. And what, you, what I like to tell my students to do is to follow the signal. And so out of the battery box, the signal actually runs through the plastic here. And then we have our positive terminal there where my red uh, cord is. Your alligator clips, amply named for their little alligator-like mouths. Oh. 
Uh, the color of them obviously doesn't matter, but traditionally red is connected to positive things and then black is connected to negative things. It's just kind of up to you how you want to color coordinate though. So the current's going to follow flow from the positive, la 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 la, all the way over this rainbow of wire, down through the light bulb, whoop, whoop, ah, and then out the wire here, la 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 la, through the wire, back into, this is the negative terminal on our um, circuit boards, boop. So just like that. That's a simple circuit with just one light bulb and one battery. Okay, so now we're over here with the series circuit. Now I'm not gonna give away any answers by actually collecting um, voltage data here. That is up to you to do in the lab. But just so you see how to wire things following the current, we're gonna go out of the positive terminal again through this red wire, la la la, through this light bulb, and then through the green wire into the connection for this light bulb, and then all the way back to the battery. And we turn it on and everybody should light up. And one interesting thing about series is that everybody matters. So you take one out and the other one also is gone, but you put it back on and everybody's happy again. Yay! Let's take a look at, uh, and again, you would connect on boop, boop, before and after the light bulb to get those uh, potential differences. All right, let's take a look at the parallel circuit. We already have this one set up nice and neatly and you can tell it's ready to work by boom. Oh, hey, look at those light bulbs. Nice and bright. And we're using two long bulbs here. We've been using long bulbs the entire time. And again, you can use the round and long and mix them up. So. Notice what we have here, we have to use more wires to do the parallel circuit. So we have a red and a green, both splitting the current before, uh, before we get to any light bulb. So we're giving the current multiple paths to take. So the current could go through the red and then through this light bulb, beep, and then through the black wire back to the battery. Or the current could go through the green, la 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 la, through this top light bulb and then through the yellow wire, back to the battery and then the yellow and the black are both connected like this. You just need metal connection and it's all like one piece of metal as far as the electrical current is concerned. And so we turn our switch on, whoop, ooh, nice and bright. If we take one light bulb out, you notice that because we have an alternate path, we have the red black path for this one, then this path is not necessary for um, for the, for the the charge is going to flow through this light bulb. So the, the green yellow path is a completely separate path and that's the beauty of the parallel circuit. Now it's up to you to follow the figures that were about to pop up on the screen. Figure one, figure two, to create your combination circuits of parallel and series. Um, and you have a little LED up here for a fourth light bulb if you want to work that in and then you have three light bulb slots that you can use for your combo circuits. Okay, have fun physicsing. All right, well thank you for watching our last video in the series of AP Physics 1 College Board Investigations. Um, that wraps up the entire lab manual from College Board. Um, this was the science hutch, I was the hutch, this was the science, and you're the physicist. So you keep on physicsing, and as always, may the mass times acceleration be with you.